Hey everybody. So I am a little bit later tonight going live, but um, it's been kind of a crazy day with um, work and then kids sports and whatnot tonight. So I kind of wanted to get on real quick and do um, part of a part of a painting for you. And what I have is a 18 by 24 size canvas that I have painted black with black flat uh, spray paint. It's kind of like just a, a primer for the painting that I'm going to do. And so what I'm going to do is, just give me a second here. I'm going to basically uh, do a base coat with tubed um, acrylics tonight. So I have the uh, Master's Touch acrylics that I really like. I also have one color that's by Dick Blick. And so I like the, um, the tube acrylics because they're a little bit thicker. They cover black just a little bit um, nicer. And so that's why I'm using these. Also, I'm going to be doing a little bit of stenciling over the top so that you can see how I um, am just going to add a little embellishment to this. I'm going to eventually add some words to this um, later on after the painting is dry or the back part of the painting is dry. But for now, I'm just going to do for tonight the, the base coat with mixing the colors. And then I'll also show you how I'm going to do the stencils. So I am actually just going to go for it tonight. And hopefully my paints aren't too clogged up here. We got a kind of a chunk of blue right there. So with this painting, there's no way that you can mess it up. Seriously, there's there's absolutely no way. And I know that there's a few of you probably saying, oh, but Brenda, I bet you I could do it. And I'm gonna tell you that you can't. You can try, but you can't. So I'm using colors from the same color family, which are the cool colors. Blues, greens, uh, violets are all cool colors. So I am basically going to spread this paint out. Um, you may see a little bit of black underneath. I personally don't mind that. Some people uh, don't care for that, but that's really, like I said, a personal preference. Um, I like using a black canvas as my base because it tends to make the colors look uh, much brighter much brighter um, when they're painted on it. So, and I really like that effect. I also like that effect when I do uh, floral painting um, and other paintings. I just, I really like using a black, a black background, but that's like I said, personal, a personal choice. So, brand new. So I have green, I have blue, I have teal, um, I have a couple different blues. I have a darker blue and kind of this brighter blue. Um, when I kind of mix the greens in with the other blues, I'm going to get a whole nother tone of green because basically yellow and blue make green. And so when I have a lighter green that has more yellow in it, I'm just going to get uh, more of a darker green when I add more blue to it. So you can see here, I am adding just my paint. I'm going at a diagonal just to give it a little bit of a different line. I'm going to also be using um, some bottled metallics. Um, to add some dimension and shadow, or not shadow, dim dimension and pattern. Um, like I said before, I'm going to be using some stencils that are going to allow me to do that. So let's see, I'm going to go with the dark blue, a little more dark blue here. And 
just like always, I'm going to wrap my color around my edges. I always do that. It just makes it look finished. Um, you could just, oops, you could go with uh, just leaving the edges black too if you're really neat about um, keeping the paint off your edges and not kind of slobbing it over, but I'm not always that neat and patient, as some of you already may know. So like I was saying, it's been kind of a crazy evening. We had a two hour baseball game tonight for my middle son and they ended up winning, which pulling it out at the end, which was pretty exciting. So I just thought I, I need to jump on and do some painting here because it's been, it's been a while since I did the flip flops and I actually do still need to create the hanger and some of the embellishments that I will try to do that this week as well for you guys so you can see how I'm going to finish those flip flops that we painted a couple weeks ago. So I am just turning this around, again wrapping my color on the edge. like so there we go that is perfect all right I like that I like it just how it turned out like that now, um, what I did was I went to Michael's and I got some kind of really big uh, stencils. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just do some stenciling right over the top of the um, paint. And you know what? I'm going to try. I'm just going to put it right down. I'm going for it. Um, I'm going to put it right down on the wet. It's not perfectly centered, um, but that's totally okay too. So what I'm going to do is I have some copper here. That is the bottled acrylics. It's thinner, um, but it has that. I can, sorry for my dog. I can hear him or hear her upstairs. Um, one of my kids just came home, so she's all excited. So here's the the uh, copper paint, and I am just going to go ahead and start going with it um, along my stencil. I love uh, metallic especially copper. There's something about copper. I just, I just love copper. Um, and I love how it goes over other colors and you can almost kind of mix your other colors with it, which is awesome all in its own too. So I'm just gonna, you know, you'll see some of that color coming through that we painted first and I'm okay with that. I really don't mind that at all. I have a thicker brush. I'm just kind of bouncing it along the top here. And the nice thing is, is if I get a little bit too much of the other color because it is still wet, um, I can just put copper over the top, so not a big deal. So I'm just going to keep, I'm going to go around the outside of this. There's a lot of, um, different combinations you could do with this. You know, you could go back over with just white, just black, um, a whole, you know, other color like I'm doing with the metallic, you know. And yeah, we may pull a little bit of the um, paint that we 
first put on off but actually it just I just pulled up the stencil and it gives it a really cool texture so I am so happy that was not planned but that makes it even better still even better still it's kind of like a surprise when you lift it up you don't really know always what you're gonna get and that's kind of the fun part sometimes sometimes it's like oh that might not have been the best idea. But sometimes it turns out pretty cool. And when I lifted that up, I was pleasantly surprised. So we'll see what happens. You know, you know, you just, sometimes you just gotta go for it and see what happens. And if it's a mistake, you just go back and fix it later, but you won't know until you try, so. That's the best part about art. You just do it and try it and experiment. And if it doesn't work, you just don't do it again. So I'm gonna wipe off my brush here a little bit. It's getting a little, whoops, getting a little bit gloopy. Um, I think I'm going to bring that copper right in here to the middle. Like I said, I think I'm going to put some words on these. Just I really like um, inspirational quotes and things like that. So um, I do a, a class called um, Painted Prayers and Affirmations, which it's not you know it's not necessarily religious but I like I am statements you know I am amazing I am smart I am beautiful I am um, awesome so those affirmations are always fun to do on these kind of paintings And I kind of like this stencil too because I can um, control pretty easily where my paint is going. Kind of like so. So, yeah, I really like that a lot. I'm going to see. Hold on one second, guys. Let me see if I can grab a different color. Um, I'm going to look if I want this one. We'll try it. I have like a color shift acrylic and it's kind of like a purple blue kind of color. I'm going to try mixing that a little bit with some of the copper and we'll see what happens with that. That's kind of, it matches, it goes in with that cool color family. And as always, as always, um, please be sure to share this with anyone you feel would enjoy it. I'm all about sharing what we've got going on here, you guys. Um, also, if you haven't done so already, please go over to the uh, Visual Arts Academy um, Facebook page and give us a like and a share there too because the more people we can share our art with, the better. That's how I feel. I really like this one right here. It's got the green, the teal, and the brown in there. I really, that one kind of turned out cool without trying. I like it when that happens. A little more over here with this purple and color shift. It kind of, it's almost like automotive paint that, um, I don't know if you've seen those cars that they look one color in, in one light and then a different color in a different light. It's, it's really pretty cool. This is that same type of color. And again, this is the bottled paint. 
And like I said before, I won't be like real upset if it pulls up some of that first paint that we put down um, and shows some of the black canvas. I'm, you know, I'm kind of okay with that. Oh, thanks. Yeah, I, it's kind of, I, it's going to be fun. I can't wait to see it myself. It's really hard for me to miss see. Yeah, I can't wait. Should we do, let's do this. Okay, so pulling this up. I'm going to get my paper towel in there. Ooh, look at that. Isn't that cool? That is so cool. I love this. It's kind of hard to see with the glare when I pull it up like that, but that is really, that turned out really cool. Now I gotta find a place for my uh, wet stencil to go. I have some other stencils here too that I'm going to kind of add on the corner. And I'm wondering, let's see. If I do something like that, I need to put this somewhere so it doesn't get all over everything. There we go. So I'm wondering, let me see if I have a silver. So I have like a, a gold color that we can try and see what happens. Thanks, Missy. I love this. This is I I truly, truly, truly think it's beyond cool as well. So let's see. I'm gonna put this one kind of coming off the corner, and I want to go too. Um, I don't want to press too hard because I don't want the copper and other stuff to come off. I'm going to wash this brush up just a little bit. It's getting a little bit, a little bit mucky here. So this is a gold metallic, and I may, I think the gold is going to be a lot cooler once it dries, because um, it's, you can still see some of the color underneath, but I think, I think once it dries, it's going to be a lot more gold looking. I love that texture that it left behind from where I pulled up the other stencil. That's really, I don't know if you can see that on camera, but that is really cool. Just gave it a whole nother dimension. Let's bring some of that copper up here too. We can blend that in with some of the gold as well. Metallics are fun to play with. They're a little bit touchy with uh, going over other colors of paint, but they're really, really, really fun. Ooh, there we go. That's cool. That is cool. Let's do another one down here on this side. That is really cool. I'm excited about that. That is really cool. <laughs> I don't know how many times I can say that. A lot, at least four. That gold is really something on there. And I don't know if you can, it might be kind of hard to see, but you might be able to see this one a little bit better on this end.
and I'm pretty heavy handed with the uh, with the stencil paints. Um, I'm not too not too uh, stingy with the color. I'm put quite a bit on there and don't mind doing that at all. Especially with the lighter metallics like a gold or a silver. Um, I really want those to show up for me, so. All right, let's pull this one up. It even gives it some dimension, which is just, I just love that. I'm not sure if you can see that, but it really turns out very, very, very cool. I can't really wait till that dries just to see, just to see how that behaves. Add a little more on this side. Just tap that down because that paint is wet. Um, you know, like I said, we just, you didn't know really what we were going to get out of that. And it really is a pleasant surprise. So, um, down here with the gold and we'll pull it up man that is just so cool so cool I'm just gonna get a little bit down here yet up at the top And, you know, I don't have it fully on the uh, painting part of the stencils off, which just gives it even a little more character and a little more variation and contrast and all that good stuff. Adding a little more of the purple in there. I might even bring a little bit of that copper along for the ride. Reveal. Oh my gosh. This is like beyond my expectation. This is beyond my expectation. This is so cool. So what you can do, you know, too, is you can add um, speckle spots to it with a brush um, and, a, and a watered down kind of paint. Um, there's lots of different, lots of different things that you could add to this. So, let's see, is there anything, I don't know if I really want to add anything to it right now. I almost kind of feel like if I push too much, if I go too much, it might be a little bit overkill on it, and I'm, I don't want to over, overdo it, but I still feel, I feel like it needs something else, and I'm not really sure, I'm not really sure what, and sometimes I have a tendency to push something too far. And then I'm kind of like, oh, I should have stopped while I was ahead. But, you know, let's, let's go for it. Let's go for it. You guys are here with me. I'm going to take a toothbrush. I have a toothbrush. And I have some uh, bottled black. And I'm going to speckle a little bit of black in some spots. just to give it a little extra something. Something, something.
There. Hold my thumb. <laughs> there we go. That's all right. There. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it really, really turned out super cool. I'm really excited about this and what I'll do, what I'm going to do later on um, after this is all dry is I'm going to go back through and I'm going to add some, um, I'm going to add some words to it. Let's see if this will take care of that glare. No, that's the other light. Um, I'm going to take care of adding some, some words once I, once I figure out, there we go. Yep. Once I figure out, uh, what I want the what the inspirational saying to say I'll I'll add that later on but for now um, for now this is what it's going to be and I'm going to let that dry and then I'll come back um, maybe tomorrow and do another do another live showing you how I add the words so thanks Missy for all your comments I really appreciate them you're awesome um, you know hopefully. Hopefully you'll be able to see it a little bit better. I know the lighting is a little hard to see, but so there we go. Okay. Thanks for joining me, you guys. Please, please, please share this. Um, go on over to the Visual Art Academy Facebook page. Um, if, well, you're here already. If you're if you're not, if you're seeing this somewhere else where somebody else shared it, come on over and and like us so that you can get the notifications when we go live right away too. So this is awesome. Um, Thanks. Have an awesome night, you guys.